honestly like i really just hate waking up early to go to clinicals to go to work like i'm not i don't want to say i'm not a morning person but i just like don't like being up i don't like being woken up when i've been sleeping like i want to wake up on my own time today is going to be like a full day of my geriatric clinical so i'll take you guys through like my whole process 7 15 right now and it is actively raining so there's probably a ton of traffic in atlanta per usual but it's exacerbated with rain so i'm gonna head out in a couple of minutes just starting my car up let's take some coffee it's pretty good pretty good cup i also got new scrubs from janu they're like the slate gray color they're kind of too big though but they're comfortable. I know people talk about figs, like figs being the best scrubs, but Chinu, like the quality, the softness of the material is much better than figs. Figs is a little bit more stylish, but I think Chinu is more comfortable. They still try to be somewhat stylish. I just got this out the bag yesterday, so it's like all wrinkled, but I didn't feel like ironing. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna do like a quick stretch and then, um, head out i'm gonna be honest like i feel like today is not a good day to do this like to vlog because it is just it's not a good morning like at all i had my usual route to clinicals this gps was insisting that i take an alternative route that was going to save me like 10 minutes i didn't even choose it it just kept like rerouting me i go this route and i'm like man it's taking too long so then i did a u-turn and i went the wrong direction and added 15 minutes to my already hour commute so now it's gonna take me an hour and 15 minutes to get to clinicals and i get there at 8 30. i'm just like so annoyed because i like to get there early so i can enjoy my breakfast enjoy my coffee just like chill but now i can't even do that because i'm in traffic and it's taking me like straight through the city. I hate going that route. Like I don't want to go through 75. Like I don't want to do that. But I'm forced to now. So it's not a good morning. But you know whatever. What can you do? I will get there when I get there. Whenever that is. So we'll get there when we get there. Safe and sound and alive so i feel like so unprepared this morning like i forgot to charge my ipad for clinicals it has like 20 percent i have my charger but i'd rather just like start the day with a full battery my yeti is half full because i forgot to follow the brita last night and i don't really like using fridge water and i kept forgetting stuff upstairs so i had to go like up and down the stairs this morning it's just too much it's just a mess like i feel very unorganized I made it on time, kind of. Whew, Lord have mercy. Okay, well, we made it, y'all. I'm about to walk. About to walk into clinicals right now, um, and I will keep you guys posted on my day today. I will check in with you guys like periodically in different spaces of the clinic or of the facility. Yeah. Y'all hear noise. They're doing construction, so there's that. But um, it is about 11 o'clock, um, and we just finished huddle. So I think they usually do huddle like every day to talk about all the patients on the floor, um, anyone that's been admitted overnight, discharges, people that they sent to the ER. So we did that. Um, my nurse practitioner is still in a meeting because I think they do a meeting after the morning huddle. So she gave me a couple patients to see. Um, so we have about like five patients that I'm gonna go round on and I'm gonna do that, do their assessment and go get some lunch after that. So just checking in. It's going good. We made it home, home y'all. My favorite place to be. I feel like every time I come on here, I look like so raggedy. I will get cute for y'all one day, but this is like majority of the time where like look like a disaster <laughs> but we'll get it together one day i had a pretty eventful day today it was actually surprisingly busy but i feel like i said that last week or so 
but I'll basically just give you guys a let me just adjust this I'll give you guys kind of like a um, like an overview of my day so just a little background story I am in family nurse practitioner school I graduate this December and I'm currently doing my geriatric rotation at a skilled nursing facility. I started at this facility, I think two weeks ago, and I really enjoy it. Like I really love geriatric patients. I like the provider role in nursing homes, skilled nursing facilities. So I really like it. Um, basically like when I come in the morning, from about 8.30 to 10 is basically like admin time. So you're kind of just like reviewing charts and seeing if there was any like overnight events, if there's any lab results that came in, if there was any admissions overnight or any admissions to the EED overnight. So you kind of go through that. And um, so our mornings are pretty like laid back. We just kind of like review everything, kind of ease into the day. And at 10 o'clock, we do a huddle, which is what, you know, y'all saw earlier, where basically like the nurse practitioner, the director of nursing, social services, speech therapy, wound care, physical therapy, I'm probably missing some more people, but you know, it's like all a huddle. And we talk about like the plan of care for all the patients, if there's been any events anything that we need to address during the day. As far as like my role in being a nurse practitioner student, um, my nurse practitioner will give me a list of patients to see. So any kind of like patient complaints that have come up overnight or even during the day, any like new admissions or any kind of like changes in patient conditions, like if the nurse comes to us and tell us, tells us like, you know, this blood pressure has been kind of low or she's been tachycardic and da da da. Um, I'll go and like assess the patient. So basically she gives me about, I'd say like on average eight patients to see, but sometimes I kind of see more because when I go into the room, there's like another patient in there that lives there. And if that patient is not there, maybe they're like in physical therapy or something, then I'll just like go see another patient that wasn't on my list but just to see like how they're doing so it kind of like the number increases from eight to maybe like 10 or 12. I'll go through all their charts to see what's going on. I'll do a chart review to look at their past medical history, the kind of medications that they're on, anything that would um, be like related to their current problem. If the nurse said that like you know last week a patient was like having respiratory distress or something like I increased work and breathing and so I just like reviewed the chart to see you know do they have any cardiac problems do they have heart failure or do they have any respiratory problems do they have COPD or asthma do they have any kidney problems you know oh, my cat is in here so um, there's like so many things that can cause respiratory distress Anyways, so like I'll do like my whole chart review, look at the medication that they're on, and then I'll go see that patient and do like my assessment. I'll talk to them and stuff. And I'll kind of like have an idea of what I want to do um, as far as like treating their problem or like the kind of medications that I would want to prescribe. And then I would go to the nurse practitioner, tell her my findings, and then she'll go and see the patient and do her assessment and stuff. So. It's kind of like, that's kind of like our workflow. So she gives me a list of patients. I do my rounds on all the patients and then I'll come back, give her updates and we kind of go from there with the plan of care. But like working in a school nursing facility, a lot of the patients, they're just like up doing stuff. So I'll go into the room and they're gone. They're probably in like physical therapy or they have like a lot of different recreational activities during the day to keep the elders stimulated so they'll do music therapy somebody will come by and play you know like the guitar or the trampoline or something um they have like bingo of course bingo they just do like little arts and crafts and stuff and they have like their own meetings so it's really really nice and i feel like it's kind of like they try a lot to keep the residents there busy and stimulated so that they don't get bored living in this facility so I definitely like the vibe so yeah it's kind of like how the day goes but there's like here and there like sometimes the patient will stop you in the hallway and tell you like hey 
you know, I'm constipated. And then you just kind of have to think on your feet to figure out like, what's going on? What do you want to do? And you're constantly like writing orders in the chart, entering it into the system, reviewing lab results. Um, the admissions nurse will come by and tell us if we have like an admission from the hospital. So we review their charts and document on them and wait for their arrival. It's interesting to see how codes are handled in that kind of setting because they're limited to what they can give and what they can do. So really like you just have to, you know, initiate CPR and do all that stuff and then call EMS and EMS kind of like stabilizes them and takes them to the hospital where they get like further treatment. But it was like interesting to see like their own process with cardiac arrests or respiratory arrests and stuff like that. And it's really nice because when I have like downtime between seeing patients and like collaborating with the nurse practitioner and following her and observing her, I'm able to do my schoolwork too. So I completed both of my discussions today and I posted them and I uploaded all of my Typhon entries for today and yesterday. We have to do like four patients each clinical day. So I was able to get all of that done. So I'm up to date with all of my school stuff. Hopefully this has been helpful to give you guys like some insight on geriatric clinicals versus like a regular primary care, urgent care clinicals. Um, so it is about five o'clock and um, I think I'm just going to make dinner. Mario wants ribeye. I don't really want red meat, to be honest, but I'll make it anyways. I'll eat like a little bit. I'm gonna make a baked potato because I'm feeling a loaded baked potato, like a really hearty, bacon, cheesy, sour creamy baked potato. So I'm gonna make that for myself. And yeah, um, I'm actually tired. Like I'm really tired. I haven't been sleeping well at all for the past couple of nights. So I need to, um, I need to get it together, you know? I feel like I look tired. Honestly though, I just have like dark circles, genetically. My mom is Indian and dark circles all day. I think it's just genetic. Anyways, I'm done rambling. And yeah, thank you guys for watching me ramble. And I will check in with you guys later.
worked yesterday and it was actually like a really good day. I was busy for majority of the shift, like probably for the first eight hours, but it was okay, you know. I'm about to head out and get some lunch with my in-laws. They're coming over, so we're gonna get some lunch, get some Mexican, and um, just like catch up on everything. So it looks like a beautiful Saturday afternoon. The sun is out, but it's 50 something degrees. Here's my outfit. My sister, she loves this painting of the kiss. So I feel like I'm her for today. And I got some baggy pants for my previous like Zara shopping trip the other day or the other week. I need to get this um, piercing re-pierced because both of them are closed up. So now I have to use like my second piercing. Eventually I'll go to the tattoo shop and get like this root pierced. But yeah. Okie dokie girls. So I will check in with you guys later. And thank you for listening to my rants as always.